going to put it up to my ear just so you can try and uh, visualize. Maybe, I don't know, do I do it this way? Hello, I've obviously got a hoop in, but I think that's a nice length. So this is one of the black pairs, um, yeah, they're a little bit heavier than normal because this is quite a lot of clay. I just think they are fabulous. I'm actually going to put the other one in so you can get a full view. They're a statement but still minimal, I think, because of the shape. Um, Very, very into that, I think. This is the third part of the pair. So, I don't know why I'm putting them on top of each other. <laughs> anyway, I think this color is really stars as well. Um, I went to the fabric store yesterday, so I thought this would be a cool time to talk you through um, some of the experimenting I'm going to do for uh, building my mate's order brand. Um, yeah, it was really exciting as well. Like I just went to the fabric store, like our local one down the road. It's really cute, and there's so many nice ladies that work in there. I really love going there. Um, obviously in the future I will um, be making different plants to get fabric but it's just it's really handy and I think it's nice to support the local shops and, and they really have a nice selection of natural fibers and fabric so I enjoy shopping there. So the idea for the brand um, is that I want to do a, at the moment I'm thinking just like a line of shirts and I was experimenting well, recently or over the last two, three months or so in um, making some different ones, like this one. Some of them turned out really great. I was just using our fabrics that I already had and I had a lot of the chambray. I used it for a collection that I did years, years, years ago and just had me to red black hanging around. But I'm done with now using, well, actually almost used up all the fabrics that I did have on samples. And so it was time to buy some new ones and the actual fabrics that I'm going to be using. So I've got the Milan Tier and Milan Cotton Blends and that sort of thing. So I'm really excited. All the patterns and experiments that I have done are really great. And the key for this is really going to be, I really want to make clothes to live in and I need to believe in them wholeheartedly. I think we definitely are facing a time where it's like, if we don't need it, you do have to question why you're making it. So, uh, and given that there are things and you need things just for pure joy, so I'm not saying that we're taking all the fun out of fashion at all, um, just trying to be more conscious about what I am making. And yeah, the experiment is gonna be now to make these in the actual fabric that I want, given that I'm hoping for longevity here. So we shall see how many months uh, they last and if I'm still wearing them. And as and when I feel that that is legit, I will then be putting them out uh, and available to order. I think to calm my nerves, I'm willing to go the long haul and really do that. I don't want to create anything that's of the moment or too trendy um, or something that just in a year would want to chuck away. So. Really excited, so I've got to wash these today, um, just in case it's shrinking. So anyway, that's where I'm at with the made to order story, and as the samples come out, you shall definitely see.
one last little bit that I wanted to share are a new pair of earrings I made. They yeah they're as expected but you know when like I don't know if you make something and then it's just like that little bit better um these yeah surpassed my own expectations I will say they are fabulous um I just think they make such a statement I think they're amazing for summer I love the white um and yeah like they're super light and the way that I attach them like on the back like the movement that you get like the two shapes being separate um yeah I, oh my god sorry <laughs> I could not be more chuffed with these